Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're back over on the YouTube account and we're gonna be looking at the Thrilling Voyage. Now overall here, the Perilous Abyss is what we're looking at. Now of course, very cool. You have to make sure that you're doing this within the 28 days. So you're maximizing not only getting your time emblems, but also the bait. Now, if you don't do it within that time frame, you do pick up all the little loot down here. Now I wanna go through and I wanna see exactly what we're building. Now I grabbed just two teams over there on Reddit to see what we could build in here. So the first one is actually gonna be right here, which Liberta Lucila, it is a super strong combination. You can actually change a couple variations of this, but we have Demia and Ulna in here as well as Lava Toon. If you have other formations, definitely drop them down below so we know. And then we are also putting in um, our, our pet right there, which is the Owl. Now the second team we're putting in here is the Shimira team. Now again, this is one that you could go a couple different ways with it, but overall we're having Rem in here. We're having the instant crowd control right up here from Amelia. Rem in here with Shamira, and then of course Ivan is going to be buffing up Shamira. And then we also do have Alberto in here for the overall um, defensiveness that we're seeing with Rem and with the other hero. Now this is very interesting because looking at the game mode, it's very easy to get through here. Now remember, the first team will actually go through here once your first team and if your first team dies, the other team will take its place. So it will actually go in there. And I believe once we get to a certain point, we get to multiple teams so we can actually add a couple more in here. But again, if you have some teams, so right there was our Ulna team. This team, again, Ulna with Demia. This is one that most players have said that they have ran through all of this game mode. If you don't have them, again, you can sub in a couple different heroes, but overall, Liberta and Lucila are just broken. When you're going through here, it is super easy with that dynamic duo. Even if you're running Ulna with the Awakened version of Belinda and even running like Palmer in there, Lava Toon, um, a couple other buffing heroes, it's gonna work incredibly well. Now, most of the time when we did run this, that's exactly who we did run. We had the combination of, and of course, with some of the immunity, some of the heroes that we gotta kill, especially like Thane, it's kind of a pain in the butt because you do have to kill him more than once. And then of course in here we have Orthos, which is going to stop time. And a lot of times if we fight Zorath in here, again, that is another team combination that is kind of a pain. But in here, going through and making sure that you do all of these. Now, of course, the boss modes, when we get into the boss fight itself with Conrad, again, when you look at the damage, literally, that Liberta puts out, it is insane how fast. Win with five Celestial Hypo teams in your formation cannot engage more than one battle. So the first team has to win it. You have to have five of the heroes, which is exactly why we are using this formation in here is because the first team, the way that I have them built and honestly where I have them built too, we shouldn't have any problem getting through here. Now, of course, a lot of these are just complete this one. So actually getting the victory like we see before, but Lava Tune and even thinking of the heroes that we're building out within AFK Arena, so looking at tier list, looking at kind of the priority, um, number one, of course, being Liberta, and then you're looking at Demia or Lava Toon, two very, very strong heroes. And then probably the one after those two, I would probably go ahead and build out Lucila. Um, she would be a solid one to have in here as well. But as you can see, pretty easy to get through this game mode um, with the multiple battles. Now, once we do get a little bit further, like I had said, um, I'm gonna swap in if we're required to do a couple more teams. I'm gonna go for that um, all the, or excuse me, the um, the Awakened version of Belinda team that we normally see in a couple different formations. You could do Leica in here with some Wilders and even thinking of some of the heroes that are going to be incredibly strong in here. Um, Aethys is one where you have a ton of crowd control. You're going to amplify some damage because of course the enemy is not that much stronger than your team. So going through here is relatively easy. Going through killing out the twins, killing out a couple of heroes. And of course, there's going to be some where you get the immunity or you get the one off or you get the boss that's gonna be a little bit more difficult to get through. And here we go, so we're adding in the third team. And I'm kind of thinking even with formations, if we went through here, there's Belinda. If we did our Super Fox team, if we did our Sword team, I don't think we're actually gonna to get to the point of using this last team. So it could be incredibly well or incredibly easy. Again, looking at the damage that Liberta puts out, he literally kills everything, it's insane. And I thought when we got to the power creeps, the total battle cannot exceed 120 seconds. Upon winning, all allied alive have the remaining average health higher than 50. That of course is going to be brought on by Demia because Demia is not gonna allow them to lit or to um, die within the formation. 
You're going to have the healing orbs that are coming off of Liberta. And you're also going to have the, the protection that we have from Lava Tune back there, also the buffs. And then, of course, the immunity up here with the owl. Once we get to the point of casting that little haste circle, I'm going to make a big difference on how fast these heroes. I don't even think we're getting the owl. There we go. There's a cast. Again, I was saying I don't think we're even getting the owl to the point of beast energy. Sort of the dodge. I don't know what's going on, but you can see the energy disintegration over here. Kind of like crazy with um, Lucila. It works incredibly, incredibly well within the formations. Even here, we're running a ton of tanks in this one, which means Hendrick, of course, going to go ahead in defensive, protect some people. And if you got different comp, if you got different comps, if you got things that are working in here, and I'm even thinking on the free to play account is we have Lava Tune, we have Liberta, we have Demia. Um, so pretty easy to get through here. We do have Alna as well. Only one that I am missing in that formation on the free to play account is um, Lucila. Lucila, I do not have built at that point. But again, I feel like with all of the other heroes we have available, especially because you get 200 attempts in here, not going to be super difficult to get through these. I know with the multiple team modes, but again, look how fast that we are just killing. It's literally a couple seconds. Because when you come into battle, there's only 45 seconds. Even last one was about five seconds in. There were about 10 seconds in, and the battle is already done. Round number three. And of course, I think we're going to go to four teams. I, I think it goes up to four teams. We might even see this going to um, five teams. So I think also in this game mode, I'm not sure if this is one that you have to get every star. And look at that, guys. It's literally the, the couple seconds that we get. Win with heroes from four different factions. So let's try this again. And I just want to swap this out a little bit. So four different factions. So we have the hypos. These are all. I wonder if we can just swap another team in here that has all different factions. So let me do, let me swap these in. Um, here's our swap. Let's go ahead and swap this one in. We'll confirm. And again, I just want to kind of see. So we have Celestial right there. We have a Dimensional. We have, yeah, we have all five of them. I want to see if they can get them down. Just using kind of the alt teams in here. And I'm thinking with Thane and Mulan, again, shouldn't be too incredibly difficult to get this down because they do a lot of burst. Which there we go. So that actually gives us all of our stars. Again, you can kind of swap your team back. We'll drop our primary team in there. That way we can go ahead and knock this part out. So most players should have Liberta. And again, this is kind of dependent on who you have built because even at a lesser build, I feel like this team with, with the combination of Alna, even if you do Alna Lucila up front, um, the team will work incredibly well. I know some of the targets, again, are a lot more difficult than some of the squishier targets that we have in here. And of course, we did get Bron up as well, which is awesome to see. So he is there now. He finally went into the heroic ship. So we can go ahead and build that out. And again, we're just kind of buzzing right through here with that first team. I feel like the first team is, is going to just decimate everything. Owl is up. We got a couple buffs. And again, getting through the target with the immunity. Attacks going down, dodges going down, but we get it through. Team number two got some Maulers in here, which again, unfortunately, Maulers are not the most highly desirable faction that we have in AFK Arena. But of course, look at the dodge, guys. It's kind of crazy, the, the amount of dodge. But when those orbs, when those uh, Liberta's orbs are kind of going back and forth, it stacks up quite a bit of damage pretty quick. Even here, we have Scrag up here that, of course, can't be crowd controlled. And I think we're actually, I mean, yeah, it almost looks like we're fighting something right there in the front. Uh, so win with the five Celestials again. Now, team four, again, I'm going to go with Belinda in here. I don't think it's going to make a huge difference, really, who we use in here. I'm just going to drop in. Let's drop in a couple of our Light Bearer heroes. There we go. So we got a pretty good build right here. Let's go in with the Slumbering Seal. Double Awaken with the plus 40 signature item, so I'm okay with that. And again, I feel like once we get those buffs up for Liberta, once we get that ult, it burns down so fast. And of course, we have to fight both bosses. I want to see these bosses as a Celestial and a Hypo. I want to see these um, actually playable, which would be awesome. 
So upon winning, we got 60%. And then Celestial, Hypo, and Dimensional Hero there. Again, stage 16. So we got through the first 15. And it went back to, it looks like three teams right here. But it seems like um went through there pretty easy. Again, with this first run, we, we figured it would be though. Most of these, you come in, you farm, you get your loot. Most of it on day one. And that's it. You pretty much just call it quits. Now, also remember, we have the Celestial Isles that are up. Um, They redid everything on there. And look at that lobby. Thank you for subbing to the channel. But the, the Celestial Isles are up. Make sure you're going through, you're doing your dailies. You don't want to miss any of that because it is massive, massive loot that you do in there with the summons. Um, And of course, with the hero exchanges, getting those red chests in there, getting those cores makes a really big difference. Now, of course, with Thorin and with Edwin, we got kind of the double immunity in there. And these, again, are just win the battle. So first team doesn't get it. Second team will come in. Second team doesn't get it. Third team will come in. And then hopefully by that point, you can just win the battle with the heroes you have. Now, Tay Lee, of course, will dodge or go immune. Back here is what we see. And, of course, we're fighting Drez right there in the top as well. Ooh, we're getting through there, guys. And, of course, Damia. Demia is another one. We're working on the plus 40 signature item for Demia. Demia is very, very strong, guys. Not only with that immunity, but the amount of damage that Demia puts out. And look at Palmer back here just really holding his own. She does incredibly well within so many game modes. And look at the immunity. We have Izold there. We have Kelthar on there. And literally with this immunity that we have with Demia, um, she just chills. She just sits here in the flowers and just wait so we kill them. Of course, Cetrana, another one, very, very tough to get through with that immunity. But I think we're almost through, and it looks like a lot of players got stuck in some of those later stages. It looks like I have a couple players that are stuck from the guild getting through here with the formation. But again, any formations you got, guys, drop them down below so we can actually finish that, this out. Or they got to the point where they didn't need any more. Now remember, with Lava Tune being built, he actually sets up the stage for the first 15 seconds. So if we're only running, and Lava Tune went down pretty quick right there, but if we're only running, you know, a, a multitude of seconds in here, if it's not taking too long to get through these targets, they go down pretty quick. And this one, again, I think we're just looking for the victory, but we lost Lava Tune, which means this one we run without Lava Tune. Now, of course, you can go ahead and skip this if you want. But still, the combination of Liberta and Lucila are very, very strong. Look at it just going different ways, guys. Boom, win the battle. So where are we at for this? We have 28 of 31. So even going through here, I think this might actually be the last one. Might be the last one. So there we go. So we got team four in here. Again, let's throw in. Let's go with, you know what? Let's just go with the same, the same ones we had. We'll get Jerome, we'll get Rowan in there. We'll drop in, let's go with our Talos main. See if we can get this one done. And this might be the last stage. It might be just quite a bit uh, shorter. But again, even looking at all the summons in there with Conrad, just really burning it down. Nor Morgana, again, this is what I wanna see. That would be such a epic um, awakened hero if, if we seen this hero. A little bit tougher getting through here, but you'll see big chunks start coming off of the boss. There we go. So what? That, I don't want to try again. I think that might be it. There we go. We cleared the perils. So that is why. That is why everyone is kind of parked here. Let's collect these up. There we go. 150, 10, and 10. So we cleared all of those. Then, of course, we got 31. So it is 31 of 31 stars to go ahead and clear that. So very cool. All right, guys. So that is going to do it for the perilous abyss. Let me know in the comments what group formations you're using. And also, thank you guys for watching.